When it comes to the Miami Dolphins' 53-man roster, no position will be as exciting to see play out as the Dolphins' wide receiver unit. To run down where we are at so far, I have predicted that the Dolphins will carry two quarterbacks, four running backs, nine offensive linemen, and four tight ends. With three positions on the 53 going to the special teams. With the defense completed, there are six roster spots up for grabs. The Dolphins could keep six or at the most, seven wide receivers and it is going to be interesting to see who is out among the talented group of pass catchers. Twelve receivers are currently on the roster but I don't believe that the Dolphins will go into camp with that many. In fact, as I am writing this, I wonder if I should click over to see if anything has changed. I do think that the Dolphins will keep six receivers this year but I believe that is because of Lynn Bowden Jr. who is unique. Devontae Parker Parker didn't have a good season last year compared to the year before but that doesn't mean he won't in 2021. Parker is not an elite WR but he has the athletic ability to be one of the better receivers. He will never hit elite status because if he were going to, he already would have. He is good and that, for now, is enough. Jalen Waddle, it is going to be exciting to see what he brings to the Dolphins' offense. Will Fuller, V. Fuller is the guy that can break open an offense and stretch the defense. He will earn $10 million this year and the Dolphins are hoping that he will stay healthy. Lynn Bowden Jr. This kid has so much talent, and the reason I think Miami releases Malcolm Perry in an attempt to stash him on the practice squad. Bowden is also the reason I see Miami keeping seven receivers. Preston Williams, if Williams can make it out of camp without being hurt, he makes the roster. He has a lot of talent and could be one of the top two receivers on the roster but he has to stay healthy. Albert Wilson, Wilson has been around Miami for three seasons and he looked great when he was healthy and he is again now. He looked good during voluntary OTA workouts. The wide receivers who will not make the roster and why this is important. Alan Hearns, Hearns can be really good if he can stay on the field. He opted out last year and looked good in his role the year before but I'm not sure he beats out Wilson. Jakeem Grant, Grant is an electrifying return guy but he is too inconsistent as a pass catcher. The Dolphins have to figure out how to use him in their passing game. Unless he makes the team for his return duties, the Dolphins are going to save money and let him go. Mac Hollins, Hollins played a lot in 2020 because the Dolphins needed him to. They don't need him initially this year but I would expect he will be among a couple of receivers added to the practice squad. Robert Foster, Foster is consistent and has good hands and decent speed but he is on a roster that is full of talent right now and unless he becomes the seventh receiver, he will likely not make the final roster. Kirk Merritt, Merritt is still developing as a pro and will likely get work on the practice squad if there is room. Kai Loxley, the converted QB knows his chances of making the roster is slim and he has publicly said as much. He is hoping to earn a practice squad spot. I think the Dolphins will carry six WRs into the season because they can put Hollins and Merritt on the practice squad and sign them as needed. Hollins would be first in line for certain but I don't see Miami keeping seven receivers this year. If they can't trade someone, they will have to release them. As it relates to Hearns and Wilson, I think Miami keeps one of them but honestly, I have gone back and forth about which one is the better option. With these six players, the Dolphins roster now stands at 26.